Welcome to week two of Operation Football. Thanks for staying up late. You don't need to adjust your television. This is not a DVR recording from five years ago. This is not from your VCR from 20 years ago. Rich Nye, the sports guy, is back, taking some snaps for Dave Calabro, who's enjoying some time off. You know who's also back? Center Grove. The Trojans looking for their 30th straight win tonight. Number one in the state, taking on number four, Carmel, in our big game of the week. Carmel and Center Grove have played for 25 years for the Copper Kettle. The traveling trophy has resided on the south side the past two years. The Center Grove Trojans have beaten everybody for two seasons on the way to back-to-back -to -back state titles. A scoreless first quarter, but Jackson Kazmierzak connected deep with Reese Bellin to put Carmel in the red zone first. On fourth and goal at the one, Kazmierzak pushes into the pile. Wait for it. That's a touchdown for the Greyhounds and a 7-0 lead early in the second quarter. The Carmel students went with the farmer theme for their visit to Johnson County. Center Grove gets going with Tyler Cherry fighting Noah Coy for a nice pickup. Several plays later, Jalen Thomason pushes his way across the goal line for a four-yard touchdown and a tie game at seven. A full house at Ray Skillman Stadium on a beautiful night and a beauty of a battle in Class 6A. And this was beautiful. Kazmierzak and Bellin go back to the air for a 37-yard gain and first and goal. But the Greyhounds had to settle for a 23-yard field goal from Benjamin Sponsler. Center Grove left with under three minutes to go in the first half. Cherry and Coy connect again to help the Trojans get into field goal range. Nolan Foley splits the uprights from 31 yards for a tie at 10 at the half. Teams traded the lead in the second half. The Trojans scored last. Center Grove wins 31-27 for its 30th straight win.